How is it going guys and welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I want to show you guys how to make your own time progress bars and borders within Premiere Pro. No plugins needed. Let's uh, go straight in. So we're going to start with a really basic one. We're going to go add a new item. We're going to go with a color mat. Let's go with the red and name that bad boy. We're gonna drag that into our sequence. All we're gonna do is we're gonna keyframe what we need it to do. So I'm gonna take it, make it a bit lower, add a keyframe, move that keyframe along. And then in the current position, I'm just gonna move it all the way to the left. So when that plays, it's just gonna move along for the duration of your video. Super easy, super simple. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same, but with the progress border. So what we're gonna do here is gonna use the rectangle tool and just draw a rectangle. And then we're gonna cover our screen and then we're gonna go in and edit that shape. So we're just gonna turn the fill off and we're just gonna have the stroke, click on it. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna come to our selection tool and just refine that so it just covers our whole screen. Next, what we're gonna do is go up here and add a polygon mask. We're gonna take the feather down all the way so it's nice and sharp. And we're gonna start from this position right here. I'm gonna come down to my mask expansion and toggle that keyframe and then move it along to where we want it to end and then just jack that mask expansion up and there you go super super easy so these two are super simple to do we're just going to take it up a notch and we're going to make our own time bar from scratch again i'm going to come and take the shape tool Hey guys, Dave here. This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. They've got an amazing digital products library with unlimited downloads. They've got over 50 million assets. They've got photos, stock videos, graphics, video templates, motion graphics. Honestly, for $16.50 a month, they've got so much stuff. They'll just make your life easier and help you create things faster, meet your deadlines and keep your clients happy. For more info, check out the links in the description. Let's get back to this video. And then I'm going to come into my timeline and duplicate that, pressing the option key and dragging up. I'm going to select the top shape and I'm going to turn the stroke off and turn the fill on. And while that's selected, I'm going to come in and unlink the scale and just play around with this and see where I want this to sit. So say I want that there. And what I'm going to do for both shapes is I'm going to make sure there's right in the middle. There we go. We've got time bar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate the top one. So the inside of it by using a crop effect. So I'm going to go into my effect and use a crop, drag that in and click on the crop. I like clicking on the crop so I can just drag the box. I'm going to keyframe that and then go to where I want it to end and reset that parameter. And there you go. You've got a nice progress bar. Now, for my liking, that seems a bit too smooth. <laughs> so what I like doing is if you go into your effects and use the posterized time tool, drag that to your top shape and let's change it from 24 frames to, let's say, eight. So that'll just make it a bit more digital. So say you want your time bar to be a specific length, which you would do. All you have to do is choose the length and then select the top shape and then just adjust that keyframe. And it'll be the exact length you need it to be. Now, say you wanted to add some kind of graphic in here. So I'm gonna go into Envato Elements and just download this Hacker Matrix little background here. And then I'm gonna drag it right in, in between those two. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna look for your track mat key, drag that onto your Hacker Matrix. And then what you're gonna do is select video three, cause the progress bar is on video three. So select that video three and there you go. You've got your matrix just loading up. That makes it a bit more interesting. You can do the same thing and add that background to the stroke. All you have to do is I'm going to duplicate the actual video and I'm going to send one of them to video four and one of them to video three because my shapes are on video three and four. And there you go. Then we're just going to make it a bit more digital as a posterized time to both videos. And let's put those to 10 frames a second. And this is what we've got. Another thing I bump into a bit is, so I want to make the contents of the inner bar bigger. You'd think you can go to scale and scale it up, but nope, that just scales the whole thing up. What you need to do is go in to your effects, look for the transform tool, drag that there and make sure it's right above the track mat key. That way, if you scale it up, it's only going to scale the video that's within those borders. We can do the same exact thing with a progress border. 
add the mat key, tell the track mat key where the video is, and there you have it. So that's it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks to Invato Elements for sponsoring this video. All the links are in the description for that. If you wanna say hi to me personally, I mostly hang out on Instagram, Dave the Greco is the handle. And come and say hi, until next time, peace.